There are three things I'm going to show you about type certificate data sheets. And uh, here's the important things to know. The top box here, we have a, a box here. And in this box, the first number here, that is the type certificate data sheet number. So it has a document number, and that's it. Underneath that, the revision is revision 62. Now, if we look at the bottom of this box, the revision 62, the last revision, last change, was November 27th of 2017. And there's also a little bar here to the side. That little, that little line means this is the information that changed in the last change. You say, what did they, what, what was revision 62? What did it change? It changed everything that there's a little bar by. Um, underneath it, it says who has the type certificate. Uh, that is the license for the data. The company that owns this airplane uh, is Textron Aviation. They own the, the design. So in this box, that's one of the very first things that we look at. Uh, the next thing is there's a lot of information on here. Who owns it, what the name of it, where the factories are, that kind of thing. The first thing is this is the first model that's on this. This is the Model 35 Bonanza, and it was originally approved in 1947. Now, going back up to the box at the top, this shows us in this box all the different models that uh, are on this type certificate data sheet. This first one was a 35, I call it the straight 35. Then they had an A model, A35. And then just like just like every year, the car companies come out with new cars. These guys, not, not maybe not every year, but every few years, will come out with a different model. Um, I'm going to look at the G35. That's somebody came to me, and I, I've worked on a G35 Bonanza before. But, okay, so back to the aircraft information. So if I go to this first airplane, this is what we call the straight 35. And then after that, they went to the A model. Well, I want the G model, right? My customer's got a G35 Bonanza, and I'm going to do an inspection on it. So I come down to where I find the G35. Okay, so it starts right here. And the G35 was originally, the first one came out in 1955. So what does the type certificate data sheet tells us, tell us? It tells us all the specifications. So it starts out with which what engine belongs on this G model, this G35. It's a Continental E225. It tells us what kind of gas and information about the engine, RPM speeds, uh, air, air, air speed, how fast can I fly it, how slow does it fly, uh, weight and balance information. We're going to use this in weight and balance. Uh, then it tells us some things in here like uh, the flight controls, what the, what the specific, how far up the aileron moves and how far down the aileron moves. It tells us things like that. Okay, the next section I want to tell you about is what we call specifications pertinent to all models, or sometimes called data pertinent to all models. So I talked on here about the different models of this airplane. Well, this section has things that are on all of these models. Okay, so this is another section of the type certificate data sheet we need to look at. So here it tells us this is a certification basis, and cert certification basis tells us um, how they licensed it, how they tested it. It's not really, there's a lot of things on here that if we're looking for that information, we can find it. We, we're not going to memorize it. We don't have to know all this stuff. Okay, the next section to check is the notes section. So I'm going to scroll down here a little more, and I'm going to look at the notes. Down I find note one. And note one says current weight and balance report with the list of equipment is included, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the notes are another section that you just need to read through and see what's in them. Note two, there's a lot of people who are interested in note two. Note two is supposed to be always be the same thing. There's, it's, in my mind, it's trivia, but some people want to know what note two is. And note two is almost always placards tells you what labels, what information needs to be stuck to the dash. There may be a warning like don't fly this airplane faster than 250 knots or don't fly this airplane, uh, don't extend the flaps. Those messages are the placards and those are almost always note two. 
So I don't think it's important. Some people do. Some people always say, well, Note 2 is always this, whatever. Okay, so in review, the areas that you want to look at is you want to look at first the top block, the type certificate number, the revision date, and see if the airplane you're looking for is in that block. The second thing that is important is you go look for your airplane and your airplane exactly. My G model doesn't even start until, where is it? The information for my G model starts on page 12 and, and people will trick you on a test. They'll give you the first airplane that's on the sheet. They'll ask you, you know, for the G model, which is actually on page 12, but your answers will be the A model, right? The first model on there. Okay, so you're going to look, that's the second thing, is you're going to look for your airplane information. Next, we're going to look at uh, specifications pertinent to all model, or data pertinent to all models. And the last thing we're going to look at is we're going to look for notes.